So RiseDroid Sources has been released once again and we got the newest version of RiseDroid V10 with the Rise UF 4.0. Developer and maintainer of OnePlus 6 and 60 devices because Optimus has finally made available this build after a long time of wait. So flashing is somewhat tricky this time because we need to format data. Formatting YTWRP is not working and if you boot without formatting, you may face lots of bugs. So first download the full ROM zip file and also download the TWRP file given under the video description. Place them in the PC, on the desktop or inside the platform tools folder. Now boot the phone into the fast boot by powering up the phone and long pressing the volume up plus power button. Connect phone to the PC and open CMD window inside the folder where you place the TWRP file. Now type fastboot devices to confirm device is properly connected or not. First we need to format data so type fastboot w and hit enter. Now type fastboot boot and drag the TWRP file inside the CMD and hit enter. Phone will boot to the TWRP. Now transfer the ROM zip file in the phone. Now in the TWRP tap install and select the ROM zip file. Tap add one, select install current TWRP. Now tap wipe, select format data, type yes and reboot to the system. This flashing process is necessary so follow as shown. Today we will see what's new gets in this new build, what's working as this is the complete new source build, its features with the review of new Rise UF 4.0, performance tests and finally I shown some bugs in the ROM. So now with the further ado, let's get started. Device started to boot into the Rise Droid boot animation. After a complete setup, let's jump to the about phone to check the details of the ROM. In the about phone at the top, who guess the details as this is the new Rise UI version 4.0. Rise OS version is 10. After repeated pressing version tab, we didn't get the lineage OS easter egg that we've seen in the previous builds. In the about version tab, we can check this is the official build and device is officially supported by the developer Vikasa Optimus. Android version is 13 with the same battery you clocked easter egg. Security patch is updated January 2023. Rise OS version is 10 OBA 2. Kernel version is 4.9.333 CR Droid. It's funny that kernel name is totally different as the ROM is Rise Droid and kernel is CR Droid. ROM is based on the latest QPR2 Beta 2 Android 13 sources, so everything is up to date. Now let's see what's working as the ROM is completely rebased on the new sources. We need to check all the basic functions like the Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi hotspot. Both are working, NFC, GPS location, Bluetooth with the HD audio codecs, auto brightness, everything are just absolutely fine. Surprisingly, OK Google Voice activation is working again. I got it working only for the Cyber OS previously. OnePlus Alert Slider, Fingerprint and Face Unlock all are working fine. Face Unlock and Fingerprint Unlock both are enough fast and accurate. All the sensors like the accelerometer, light, proximity, magnetometer, compass, gyroscope are working. Other important functions like the ear proximity, microphone, ear speakers, multi-touch, display are working well. Now it's time for the camera. Surprising part is that ROM now comes with the Oxonus camera and the gallery application. But Oxonus camera is still not fully working here, but video recording at 4K 60 fps is working. Other features like the Nightscape is working, but time lapse is broken. Slow motion is working here. Here is a sample for the slow motion at 180p resolution. Pro mode, panorama mode are broken, so some features that are not working in the Gcam are working here, but features working in the Gcam are not working in the Oxonus camera, so use the Gcam to overcome the issues that we are facing in the Oxonus camera application. Unlimited photo backup for the Google Photos application is working. ROM store is encrypted, so no worry about your personal data if you lost your device. Most important part is safety net is passing so you can use any banking or the secure applications in this ROM. Now it's time to check the new user interface and the features in the ROM. As this is the new RiseWare 4.0, personalized setting has been rearranged into the horizontal tabs like the status bar, 
quick setting, lock screen, navigation, buttons, etc. In the previous build, it was vertically arranged. Here, I will show you only new and the important customization features like in the status bar, who gets the new battery bar in the status bar panel. This customization available in the older Android 12 ROMs, now it's also available here, which has different tunables like the battery bar, thickness, colors, etc. In the lock screen setting, we got the media cover art and it's working. Actually, this customization is not working in any of the custom ROM that I tested previously. In the user interface tab, we got the edge lightning for the notification indicator on the always on display with the different setting and it's working perfectly. Another unique custom feature we guess here is the custom lock screen clock font and the colors. Instead of that, we guess the all the old icons and the fonts which are now arranged into vertical tabs in the new Rise Droid 4.0. We guess the new volume panel styles like the Realme UI and the Rise style which gives the different look to the volume panel. Two different about phone styles we get here like the center wallpaper banner small and the big version. Both gives the new look to the settings panel. Who gets the different search bar and the settings panel style that you can check on the screen. In the miscellaneous setting, who gets the all the old features like the game space and lock higher FPS for the games. But now new unique feature called as the parallel applications has been added in this ROM which has the feature to add to different user profiles like here I added the punks and the for you take. Within these profiles who gaze all the system and the normal application list. We can enable the dual apps toggle for them. It's working and gives the multiple different dual apps for the same application. But one issue I found after enabling this Google Play Store force closing after some time again and again so it seems bug for this feature. Scarlet Idle Manager Toggle is a feature to extend the battery life. It helps to reduce the battery time when phone is in idle mode. Pocket Detection Toggle disables the AOD and the all the sensor when phone is in the pocket. We also get the sensor block per application option in the setting. So we can disable the sensor access for the some application to reduce the battery drain. So some useful battery saving features were added in this new build by the developers. Now it's time to check the performance of the ROM. New build is similarly smooth as the old build is fast and fluid. It felt more stable than the older build so all the applications are running on the 60Hz, even the camera application also. After testing the Geekbench results, I got the score of 509 and 2272. No need to compare these results with the any of the ROM because multicore performance is the highest till the date I got on this ROM as compared to the any other ROM. For the Hulkan Graphics API, I got the score of 1917. This score of Vulcan Graphics API is also highest result I got till the date. So obviously this ROM is outstanding and having very good performance numerically and in real life also. So after all the good things now it's time for the bad things means the bugs in the ROM. ROM still has the wide one L3 security level means you can't run the Netflix or the Amazon Prime at the full HD resolution which is the same issue for the all the custom ROMs of the OnePlus 6 and 60. In the home setting of price launcher, who gets the theme icon for the app drawer and for the system icons, but it's not working. We did not get any theme icon even after enabling the toggles. In the setting system and under the gesture, who gets the lift to check the phone feature, but it's not working. In the launcher home setting, who gets the taskbar feature, we already seen this feature in the old videos. You can check that videos from the video description, link is given there. But it's actually very buggy. We can't able to minimize the taskbar after long pressing the edges of the screen. After enabling this, sometimes now bar gets enabled at the bottom edge screen. Edge back swipe gesture sometimes didn't work. So I did not recommend you to use this feature now. Next bug I found in the battery section. There is no any battery section details in the phone setting. To access the battery stat, you need to use the Accu battery application from the Play Store. Except these bugs and the issue, I did not find any problem. Everything is superb. So I definitely recommend you to use this ROM. That's it for today guys. If you think this video helped you, then please do like, share and subscribe. Press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.